Ralph Hartenoodle knows they have to play well this afternoon. Southampton's players go into a huddle. And let's hope Saints can make some Southampton mothers smile today. In midfield, Mopai and Welbeck up front. And Diallo, who came on in that Manchester City game, gets caught late as he finds a pass midway inside the Brighton half. Now they can move it out to the left-hand side. Bertrand's in an advanced position, crosses early into the box. Free header for Adams, who just eased away from Dan Byrne, but got no good contact on the ball, Dave. And actually, that wasn't a bad chance for Shea Adams. Now Saints are going to play out short from the back. Vestergaard lifts it, but really not very well done because it was only lifted onto the head of Veltman. And now Lalana has it, 30 yards out. The former Saints captain with a good reverse pass. Mope back into Trossard, hits a player, and then the second shot is blocked brilliantly by Bednarik, but there's an offside flag up anyway. But Brighton giving see, fair warning to Saints. You see, you see that you know why that's happened? The goalkeeper's got the ball. The two centre-halves are on the six-yard box, each corner, and he plays a ball to them, and they're trying to play out from the back. It gets knocked between the 18-yard line and the halfway line. We lose the ball, and we get ourselves put under pressure. I can't understand why they do that. Been better off if Forster just last. You just, I mean, you've got a great big guy up the front in Adams. You know, you want to play it in the, in the, in the Brighton half, and we finish up playing on the edge of a box. Absolutely. Bertrand turns it back to Vestergaard, then he launches a long diagonal looking for Walker-Peters. Only half cleared by Byrne, picked up by Armstrong, back to Walker-Peters. Adams crosses from the right and Armstrong has a great chance, first time with his right foot. But he scuffs it a little bit and Sanchez in the end has a routine save. First effort on target from Southampton in the eighth minute and the first time they've really looked like getting a, a, a shot on goal, Dave. Nine defeats in the last 11 games, a win and a draw. Four points from 33. Brighton, no wins in five. Two points from 15. Hardly two form sides going into this game. As they get the ball, Brighton on the edge of the box. And Mopai can shoot and Forster turns it away with his right hand just past the post. And they didn't close Mopai down as he got it. And the former Brentford striker, Forster, good save out of Fraser Forster. It's a corner to Brighton. Good play from uh, Brighton. Moving the ball quickly uh, across the pitch. Across the 18-yard box, 15 minutes on the clock, and Brighton have been the better side. 16 minutes almost gone. Corner will be an outswinger, right-footed from the far side. In it comes, curled out towards Dunk, who gets a free header, and Dunk, the captain for Brighton, gives Brighton the lead as Forster can't make the save. And the header was quite a long way from goal when he headed it, but he got a great contact. Loads of Forsters left. And after 16 minutes, Saints are behind at St Mary's in this crucial game in the Premier League. It's Southampton nil, Brighton 1. Brighton haven't scored more than one goal in any of their last 10 games in the Premier League. They've scored one here already. So maybe they've had their lot. Well, they're looking for an improvement, desperate to get away from the bottom three as Ward Prowse takes his corner from the right an outswinger towards the back post he'll come out to Minamino strikes it hits Byrne come back out to Armstrong now on the right to Ward Prowse ignored the cross first time decides to give it to Armstrong to cross in header goes across and then Adams will volley it in from six yards out Bertrand may well get the assist but Shea Adams has three in three and Southampton were only behind for ten minutes Saints won Brighton won it is game on at St Mary's and Shea Adams is back in the goals well the ball was put back into the box early and to put the pressure on Brighton they couldn't defend it, the ball hung about in there and it's come back towards the, the corner of the six-yard box where Adams is and he's hit that one, terrific goal inside that near post. As uh, Veltman fouls Adams on the far side and Saints will get a nice free hit here, a free kick out on the left-hand side. Silly foul that one for me, yeah. he's right out on the line yeah. and it's given, no them, it's given them now a chance for Ward Prowse to whip this one in with his right foot it's out on the left-hand side. Yeah, and if the way the wind's been going, if I'm Stuart Armstrong hovering on the edge of the box, I'd be hanging around the, getting in at the back post for this in case everyone misses it. And it's whipped into that near post this time and rather luckily just bounces up nicely off bodies and Sanchez collects it. But uh, that's dangerous ball from Ward Prowse to that near post. But don't doing well to shepherd it back to Sanchez. And his first-time ball was good to Burn, but now they're under pressure, and Burn just 
got it away from Tanner, who made another 30 yards across the field. I just wonder pitch. whether Burns tweaked his hamstring there. Oh, I don't know, he Dave. He's still the back of his leg. He's still got those huge long legs going forward, and he's got the ball now, and he's volleyed it past Bednarik, who got that all wrong, and then it's played in field by Welbeck. They've got an overload on the right. Free man is Gross. Gross in the box. Should be 2-1. Oh. And it's saved by Forster and deflected away for a corner. Well, you will not get a better chance than that as Byrne comes up from the back, picks up the ball, he's going across the field from left to right and he plays in the Brighton player and he's got a chance. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and uh, Foster makes the save, but you will not get a better chance there for Gross. Well, my only worry about this game is Diallo turns away from the press and finds Armstrong just inside his own half. Stuart Armstrong looks up then plays it back to the left of Minamino. This is a good build-up from Southampton. Ward-Prowse will run onto the ball and charge towards the penalty area. On his left, he's got Bertrand. Low ball from Bertrand. Half away. Ward-Prowse will volley it, and he forces a half-decent save out of Sanchez. Low to his right. Goldie didn't really have to move, just had to what? drop on it. But that better. was a good build-up from Southampton. All started from the midfield player, Diallo, uh, turning out and changing play. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Goal kick to Saints away to my right. Forster in front of the northern end. Sends it up just over halfway. Again, Dunk wins an easy header. Straight to Welbeck as well. And then Welbeck brought down by Ward-Prowse. Free kick to Brighton in the Saints half. And that was all a bit too easy, really. Forster's clearance, unchallenged header. His header went straight to Welbeck. And they won an easy free kick. And they've taken it short and quickly. And they switched it out to the left-hand side. Now, Beltman has it just inside halfway, plays it infield, Lallana's taken up a good space, got between Ward-Prowse and Diallo, feeds Welbeck, great first time ball, Trossard should score and does! And it's terrific work for Brighton, they've gone slicing through the middle of Southampton's defence, and Saints find themselves behind for the second time in the game, and Leandro Trossard has the goal, he's third of the season, and it's Southampton 1, Brighton 2, trouble at St Mary's. Well, that is a great piece of play, a great piece of football. Good, good passing, good movement uh, off the ball. Well, it's been a tight game and uh, the, the, the movement and the passing at times has been a little bit erratic simply because of the conditions. But Brighton find themselves 2-1 up now. Yeah. And they'll not want to give this away. Good dummy from Minamino and a nice one-two between Teller and Adams. And that looks like a penalty to me. And then the follow-up saved by Sanchez. And the referee's giving it as a free kick right outside the penalty area, I think. Right on the edge. He tried to play an advantage, to be fair to Stuart Atwell. Brighton players are surrounding him, but it looked to me to be a definite foul. It might have been in the penalty area, Dave. It's been given as a free kick right on the edge of the box. Do they need to rely on their captain to get them back into this? It's a foot outside it's the goal penalty keep, area. Goalkeeper's to his right, you Dead know. Dead straight. Here comes Ward-Prowse. Right-footed, it deflects and goes behind for a corner. It could have gone anywhere. I think Sanchez, was he going the right way or the wrong way? I think he went the wrong way, well, to be he's diving to his right. And I think the ball was going the, the ball, other way. The ball was deflected to the left. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a corner on the right-hand side. Now, can Saints attack from the corner? Outswinger, right-footed, Dunk wins that header. Then it's headed even further away by Pascal Gross. And Walker-Peters, the furthest man back. Had to hit an early ball, looking for Ward. Prowse, who stretches, he turns it inside the box. And unfortunately, no red shirt can get on the end of it. I think he was caught in two minds, stretching. Does he shoot? Does he square it? He tried to square it. Couldn't find an Lundelure Adams. Adams has come out of the penalty area, does well to find Jenna Paul on the left wing. Saints attacking again, another low ball in, this time Bissouma clears, and then hacked up in the air by Gross. Desperation stuff from Brighton, and Lalana's clearance has gone backwards. Bertrand tries to win it back, but all it does is go back to Lalana, and he plays it against Diallo. And the referee falls over, it's all happening at St Mary's, but Saints well, have only got just over a minute uh, to go. Pro proper has knocked the referee over. Yeah, but... the. Walker Peters has done well. Was he tripped in the box? Saints won a penalty. He was playing a one-two with Redmond. Stuart Atwell's waved it away. Well, no pose away on his own here. Yeah, but we'll go back to VAR, Dave. We'll see. We might have some drama. Mopay Mope, or Mopai even is running it away on the left-hand side. It's gone out of play for a Saints throw-in. Now are we going to have a VAR? Was Walker Peters fouled? Did he dive if he was caught? Half Saints got a late penalty and has hard, hardly warranted... Well, we've got one minute. Here we go, Dave, have a look at the replay. Or has it already been waved away? 
Are they really going to get one more chance off the back of a controversial call? Well, I've decision? got three minutes. I've got three, three and, and a half, half minutes. No. It is, and that's it. Brighton defeat Southampton. And it's the first Premier League defeat for Saints against the Seagulls.